2022 began with strikes in French overseas territories. Public sector employees in Guadeloupe protested against high prices and the rising cost of living. It exposed the underlying ethnic and racial tensions, but many say they're still treated like a colony. When COVID-19 restrictions were lifted, people took to the streets to voice their demands for higher salaries and better working conditions. The protests caused travel disruptions. Hundreds of flights were cancelled when airport workers walked off the job, calling for better contracts and the rehiring of employees who were let go during the pandemic. Our movement is based in a need for more staff and the fact our bonuses haven't been reviewed since before the pandemic. In the energy sector, industrial action resulted in long queues at fuel stations. Disgruntled staff say multinational corporations make large profits, but the disparity in salaries remains. We can understand that people are angry when they have to queue, but it is not our intention to make them wait. For us, the only option is to go on strike. We stop the productions, so there are inevitably repercussions, and they don't negotiate, so the only thing that works is force. When energy prices skyrocketed in Europe, France spent billions to cushion the effects of inflation. To prevent household bills from more than doubling next year, energy caps will cost an estimated $16 billion. Many people say the government must do more. Even with the cap, energy costs have increased by 15%, which is twice as much as the minimum wage. Even doctors and paramedics joined the picket line. We want people to know that we can't take it anymore, that we need better working conditions in order to better take care of them, because what we want is care time with patients. In the peak holiday season, at the end of the year, railway workers went on strike. Although last-minute negotiations prevented major cancellations, unions say issues haven't been resolved. It stands and defends the interest of the corporations, of the big banks, of the companies in general and the shareholders. The, the government is, of course, very intent on trying to contain these strikes and certainly not giving in to them in order for it to avoid the situation where the strike will spread and workers would inspire each other to uh, go on to a general strike, especially considering the fact that they are intent on presenting uh, pension reform in January, which will lead to heightened social tensions. President Emmanuel Macron wants to overhaul the pension system. Already postponed in 2022, he is likely to go ahead with the plans in January. What I propose in this reform is shifting the legal age progressively to 65 years. We are abolishing the special pension plans because this is a real injustice and there are real discrepancies, so we are shutting them down. But labor unions are opposed to the proposal, which would save the government billions of dollars. France's year of strikes may be over, but the government is poised to make changes for retiring workers. The unions in the past have been able to postpone the proposed reforms, but 2023 is likely to be a year on track for more strikes and more union action unless wages are increased and there are more jobs. Osama bin Javed Al Jazeera, Paris.